Okay, uh, good day ladies and gentlemen. So we are now going to start building our game. Um, and then today what we're going to talk about is how we use an object called Tiled Backgrounds to start adding some graphics to our game. So the first thing I'm going to do is just create a new project. I'm going to call it Simple Platform. And press Create. And then I'm just going to press Control and the middle mouse button to zoom out. So I can see the whole viewport. So I can, so I can see the whole layout. Then I'm going to click on Layout 1 and change it to be called My Level. Okay. So you need to make sure that we have downloaded the resources. Uh, the link is on the VLE. And all of the resources that we're using today uh, are Creative Commons resources that come from a website called Kenny.nl, which I highly encourage you to go and see because when it comes to building your own games, there's a whole host of different resources that you can use. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is add a background to make my game look a little bit more interesting. And what I'm going to do is to use an object called the Tiled Backgrounds. So if I insert a new object, and then I just type Tiled, and then this is the one we're looking for here, this Tiled Background. And I'm going to call it the, the Background. Okay, and then I'm going to place it there. So now I get my editor up where I get my opportunity to edit my background. Okay, so I've got uh, the resource file here. In it is a folder called backgrounds where I have a whole, diff a whole bunch of different backgrounds. Um, anyone you want to choose. Uh, I'm going to choose the uh, color grass background and then I'm just going to drag the background onto my selector so it does that okay now what's happened here is that I'm just going to press ctrl and z again to zoom out okay and we can see that the background is now full of the grass so when I press stop it looks like nothing's happened here but actually I'm going to drag my background object to the top left corner and then make it much larger. And there's one version of my background. I'm just gonna keep dragging it out and you can see that what happens is that the tile map object, so for instance, we could just keep dragging it out, it repeats the image. So because the Kenny builds his images in a way that they can be seen seamlessly joined, and then we can use the tile map object to make it as long and as short as we possibly want. So for instance, if I continue to zoom out, and then I can just have as many repetitions of this as I want. Okay. In this case, I'm only going to go up to as big as the layout. And there's my background. Now, if I press play now, you can see that all that we can see at the moment is just this top right hand, top left hand corner, which is the dotted rectangle here. But that's fine for now because when we add our player later on, we'll be moving the camera around so we'll be able to see all different parts of the level. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do now is to add the platforms themselves. So I'm gonna do add another tiled map. So I'm going to right click, insert new object, and again, it's another tiled map. So I tiled background. I'm gonna place it, the first one there. If I go back to my resources now, I've got another folder called platforms. And in here are all of the different platforms that we can use. So I'm just gonna begin with, use this grass, half here and 
again, I'm just going to drag and drop it onto my editor to give me that. And when I press close, I can see that I just need to make my object a little smaller to be there. And now as I drag out, I can make my first platform to be as long as I need it to be. Okay. So there's my first platform, which I'm just going to place by here. To put other platforms in, I'm going to basically duplicate this first platform. And all I'm going to do is press the control key and drag the platform in. And I'm going to make the second platform here and make it a little shorter. And I'm going to press control key again. I'm just going to make these platforms this so this is where my first level is going to look and then he's going to end up jumping by there okay so that's my first level I've got a background image and I've got the platforms that my character is going to jump on uh, fall down first and then jump on upwards to get to the end of the game to get to the end of the level Okay, so I'm looking forward to seeing what you produce um, If you have any questions don't hesitate to contact me and I will see you all soon